possible connection between gut health and autism. Researchers at Baylor College of Medicine found a link in studies with mice. Right now, investigators are looking to explore the effects of probiotics on kids with autism. Health reporter Haley Hernandez to explain the first of its kind study that's happening right here in Houston. Yeah, good morning, guys. So this is a big point of interest because studies show what happens in the gut microbiome may affect brain function. Now UT Health is doing the first kind of study on kids with autism and how they're affected by probiotics. Adam is sweet, calm, and likes showing off a little trivia. And who was the president when she was born? I'm Larry Reagan. But his behavior, his mom says, used to be violent. And he started to exhibit some psychiatric problems, aggression, profanity, things that we just became very, very concerned about because they were very uncharacteristic. That's when he began taking part in UT Health Dr. Mark Rose's study on probiotics and autism. They have a skewed population of bacteria. It, there are many reasons. They get treated more often with antibiotics. Uh, they have dietary selectiveness. They're very picky eaters. That's true for Adam. Our son has uh, suffered from severe constipation and um, a very narrow, limited diet. Dr. Rhodes believes prescription probiotics will help him and affect behaviors of a lot of the four to 16 year olds in his study. And even if it's only 25, 30% improvement in their behavior, then it's worth, uh, worth trying. Some of the participants are getting a placebo pill, but Chris and Sharita say since the dramatic difference in Adam's behavior, they're convinced they're getting the real thing. But they add, in addition to the probiotic trial, they've started a healthier lifestyle. Yeah, the, yeah. the probiotic was, it was definitely an a game changer and exercise. <laughs> exercise. While well, Dr. Rhodes says anyone can get probiotics at the store, and he says there's no harm in trying this, you don't always know whether over-the-counter brands contain a good variety of healthy bacteria. So the goal is by May, Dr. Rhodes could be done with this study and let the public know the best brands of probiotics to buy. Now, Dr. Rhodes is still looking for participants in the clinical trial, so if you're interested in a spot, I'm going to put the information up on click2houston.com. As always, you find my articles under the health section, and I always post them on my Facebook. Facebook page so as soon as we've got it up I'll be sure to share that with you. Yeah, there's so many probiotic brands out there. You really have to do your research and have to read the fine print on the label. And the CFUs and all that language on the pill bottle. It's right. very confusing. Yeah. So um, hopefully he can just tell us, you know, by the spring, which brands to buy and cut out all the questions for us.